Hey guys, this is a video in my MATLAB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can solve a system of linear equations a few different ways using MATLAB. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's say we have the system of equations 5x minus 4y plus 2z equals 21. And the next equation being negative x minus 5y plus 6z equals negative 24. And finally, the third equation, negative x minus 4y plus 5z equals negative 21. I encourage you to follow along on MATLAB if you have access to it. Even if you don't have MATLAB handy, I would still recommend that you pause the video and write down the system of equations so it's easier to follow along. So this is the first method we're going to use to solve the system of equations. We're going to transfer the coefficients of x, y, and z into a matrix that we're going to call A. So A equals, I'll open a bracket, and the coefficient of uh, x in the first equation is five, and then leave uh, then space. Uh, the coefficient of y is negative four, and the coefficient of the z is positive two, and then a semicolon to indicate that you're moving on to the next row. And I'm going to press enter uh, just so I can keep everything aligned. So the coefficient of x in the next equation is negative one, and the coefficient of y is negative five, and the coefficient of z is six. And semicolon to move on to the third and final row. So that's the coefficient of x is negative one, and then the coefficient of y is negative four and the coefficient of z is positive five and then close the bracket and then enter. And we're going to have b and set that equal to the right-hand side, uh, the constants on the right-hand side. So that's gonna, as a column vector. So that's going to be 21 semicolon, negative 24 semicolon, negative 21. The semicolons are important because this is a column vector. And then finally, we're going to have x equals lin solve a comma b. And what MATLAB is going to do, uh, I'm going to make a comment just to uh, show you what MATLAB is going to do. It's going to use the form a x equals b to give you a column vector x with the solutions. And remember to save uh, the, uh, the script before running it. So once you save it, uh, hit run. And there we go, we get the solution. And I didn't suppress any of these just uh, for uh, demonstration purposes. So we see this is the matrix A, this is the column vector B, and this is the solution uh, vector. So it goes in the order that we have typed in the coefficient. So that's x, y, and z. So our first, uh, our first uh, value is for the x value. The next one is for y. And the third one is for the z. Now, if you're solving the system of equations, most probably you don't want to see uh, a and b. So you can just suppress them by typing in a semicolon at the end. So if we run it now, so after I have typed in the semicolon, all I get is the, uh, the column vector x. I can clear off the other parts of the screen just to show you that this time I will only get x when I run the command or the script. This is another way you can solve the system of equations on MATLAB. So for, if you don't want to type in uh, into a matrix form, what you could do is uh, write it in equation form. So we're first going to have to declare the system. So S, Y, M, S, X, Y, and Z. Uh, we're telling MATLAB that our system is in terms of X, Y, and Z. Then we're going to type in equation one. So just E, Q, N, one, and a equal sign to assign equation one to be five times X, minus four times 
y plus 2 times z and set that equal to positive 21 and then move on to the next line and do the same thing for equations 2 and 3. So that's going to be negative x my, um, minus 5 times y plus 6 times z is equal to negative 24. So we're going to do that similar procedure for equation three. So equation three is negative x minus four times y plus five times z and set that equal to negative 21. Uh, just leaving spaces so it's a bit easier to see. The single equal sign assigns the name to this equation and the double equal sign uh, says that the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side. So, okay. Uh, next, what we're going to do is open a bracket, A comma B, and then close the bracket and say equals. And then we need to use the command equations to matrix in this, in this form. And then we're going to have to open a parentheses uh, a open a bracket and type in EQN1. The names must match whatever you assigned here, they must match here. So EQN1 comma EQN2. So you can always check that they match. If you click it here, it should highlight it in both places. So just to double check that you didn't have any typing errors. So EQN3 and then close the bracket. Comma open another bracket, X, Y, Z, remember the commas in between, and then uh, close the bracket and close the parentheses. And finally, use X equals lin solve A comma B. And now, remember to save your script before running it. So I'm going to clear off any of the other uh, commands just so we have a clear window here and then run it. So now you can see that I haven't suppressed any of these just to show you how, uh, what the code is. So equation one is this, equation two is this, equation three is this, and then it converted these to, mat uh, to matrix form and finally returned uh, the answer as a uh, column vector uh, X. So the values here appear in this order, X, Y, Z. So if I had flipped the order here and I made this Y, I made this X, notice the values here would also change. So if I run it now, notice that the values changed places. So I'm just going to go back and change that the way it was. One benefit of doing it in equation form is that uh, as long as the equation is equivalent, you could just as easily say this is uh, instead of plus five X on this side, you could just say this is minus five, or oh, sorry, five Z, minus five Z on this side. As long as the equation is still equivalent, when I run the code, it should give me the same answer. So and notice I changed it back to X, Y, and Z in that order. Now we're going to look at a third way, uh, which is going to be the last uh, way for this video uh, to solve the system of equations. So I'm going to copy this first portion up to here into my new code. And by the way, uh, if you didn't wanna see any of these, when you run the code, you could just suppress them by typing in semicolons. So you can just type in a semicolon up to here. And now if I run the code here, uh, only thing that should show up system of equation two is just the answer. So now let's do that same thing for here. I'm going to suppress them right away. So then uh, I'll write this back in as plus five Z instead. It doesn't really matter, but uh, just, just to have it lined up here. 
this time we're going to say SOL for solutions equal to uh, solve. We're going to use the solve command. And then we're going to open a bracket uh, EQN1, EQN2, comma, EQN3, bracket, comma, another bracket, X, comma, Y, comma, Z, and then just close off the parentheses. And then and then I'm going to also type in a semicolon at the end just to suppress this command. What we're going to do this time is say x solve equals solve dot x and then y solve for so y solution is equal to solve dot y and then z sol is equal to sol dot c. So what this is going to do is solve the system of equations and give you uh, these values separately in return. So what I mean by that, let's just run the code. Remember to save it. So when you run it, it gives you x sol is equal to five, y sol is equal to negative one, and z sol is equal to negative four. So it tells you what each of them are. So x is equal to five, y is equal to negative one, and z is equal to negative four. So if you like seeing it that way, maybe this, this uh, version is better for you. There you have it. That's how you would solve a system of equations using MATLAB. If you had a different number of equations, you would change the number of rows or columns accordingly. And I hope this video helps in some way. If you haven't already, please subscribe. There will be more videos in the MATLAB series. Also check out my graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series, as well as other videos on my channel. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Until next time, take care, guys.